Okay, so don't mind my blue glove, but I like to get dye all over my hands. So we're starting with 9.5 Kangen water, tap water, distilled water, Icelandic, natural spring, Nestle Pure Life, which is sparkling, <laughs> and Dasani. And I have all the new jugs right here. So we're gonna do the pH value of them. So what we really want is neutral is what is legal for our tap water. So it'll be in between the green and the blue and that'll be legal for what they are allowed to have our tap water be. What we're looking for is the vibrant purple. And of course, orange and yellow and all these are, are bad, bad for you. So the orange and yellow are acidic, more acidic. Here. More acidic, okay. yeah. And you want more alkaline, which will be better for your body and hydrate you more. Okay. This one leaks too. I'm getting it everywhere. Mm. <laughs> so it says for me to put three in. Look uh, at that. Wow. So which one's, what's that one though? That's a natural spring. And that. That's the Icelandic. Which one's the tap water? This one. So that's a green. Wow. Right. And the I don't know what green. that is. Look at the distilled. Look how acidic that is. Oh, well, so, yeah, so everyone you see, um, when you ask about the distilled water, it's not the safest water out there. So, Absolutely so not. So the safest water, would, oops. Would... So it would go in this order. <laughs> Those are kind of like the same colors, a little bit. And they're a little bit darker. So the safest bottle of water would be... Icelandic, and even the great value natural spring water is good because it's the neutral, right? That's legal, yes. what they're allowed to sell. And then it goes to Sony, surprisingly enough. Hmm. Well, sparkling water, of course, would be like that. <laughs> Oh my god, so look at everyone, distilled is the last, the most acidic one. I'll just grab a spoon and really mix it in. So, um, I have a question. Uh, I heard on uh, online that a theory that uh, natural spring and the a lot of the bottled water is actually just tap water. That they... Could very well be. So that's just uh, the thing with bottled water though is you have to think of that it's being produced somewhere else. Then it's being shipped, and then it's being sitting on tarmacs until picked up in the heat. And then it's shipped to your store. And then it sits on shelves. Oh yeah, when you do the test, you can put... Now it's singing. So now that it's all mixed, the cool thing is, is you take the Kangen water and it doesn't take much for it. I'm gonna lose water, I'm gonna have to get more to neutralize it, except for that one. Oh yeah, that video says you have to use lots of it with that YouTube one. Mm -hmm. Except for this one. These ones might be a little bit more challenging. Yeah, they say you have to use a lot of water for that. So, Kangen water will neutralize and alkalize these waters. But still you need quite a bit for the tap in the natural spring. Now, I'm curious, uh, price-wise, is the Nestle Pure Life the cheapest brand out there, like in price? This is sparkling water. So no, it was expensive. The Icelandic is, is a lot more expensive, as well as recycling fees put on those. Okay. Um, distilled. distilled and the great value I bought in the four liter jugs and they are a dollar ninety seven plus your um, recycling fees but they weren't the best oh, I think those. so if you guys are mathematicians out there you guys can see yeah. how much money you're wasting on the water that you think is safe and it's actually not at all. Hi. So I can show you the fruit now. Okay. So I'm just gonna shut this video off, everyone, and I'll be right back.